Welcome to Gardening with Ranger Rob. Today I'm going to talk about our watering systems. Hello everyone, this is Ranger Rob and this is Gardening in Arizona. And today is part three of my boxes. And I wanted to talk about my water systems a little bit. So, the one thing I want to point out is when you're gardening, you're constantly learning. So, some of my older systems compared to the newer systems uh, have evolved. But this is where the nightmare starts. <laughs> okay, so I had to do a splitter type thing. And I know there's a lot more sophisticated things, but what I want to point out is anybody can get into gardening and do it any way you want. Yes, you're going to look at some videos and they got these immaculate systems. But I have three. So, as you can see here, I've got timers. And this is a brand new one right here. And uh, I get my timers from uh, Amazon. They're about $29. And uh, they work great. They go off in the morning. Um, it's Arizona, so we want uh, our water that sits in the hoses can get very hot so i better run my systems in the morning so i'm going to show you each system i got on three different plan um, planter boxes and you'll hopefully see how we've evolved <laughs> and and changed our way so let's take a look for those of you who are with us years ago this was our first planter box right here and the way we did this system is i used the timer went into a, a, a filtering system and also kind of uh, controls the pressure of the water. And I did a sealed system, which uh, you might be able to see a little better, is uh, what I did was I ran a uh, quarter inch pipe in a uh, sealed system and then ran little little quarter inch pipe um, or irrigators with little sprinklers on them and they're fine and they work great and it always has but um, it could be spotty where the water goes um, and then sometimes like uh, let me come over here <coughs> I've actually added some extra little sprinklers because we put some new carrots and stuff in here and I didn't feel like the water was getting to them so we put in little sprinkler heads in that area just to get more water to, uh, to this area so uh, zucchini is in here and it's getting watered just well really good and then as crazy as it seems I just tapped off the end of this and ran little jumpers into the flowers and that works fine is it pretty? No. But let, let me show you the second system. All right, the second system starts from here too. Has a timer. I ran a regular garden hose all the way down to the fence over there. And let's take a walk over there. And it feeds four barrels and my new garden, newer garden box, not the newest. And basically you can see a hose running through here and here is where my filter system goes into the regular three-quarter inch hose which also controls the pressure of the water and what I did with these is I literally ran the pipe behind right here and brought them through each barrel and then tapped into them with little quarter inch jumpers which is really hard to see with the strawberries but you can see how the water system goes through and you can see the little taps and a beautiful strawberry um, goes all the way through more strawberries and then comes out and here giving me a full pressurized system which that hose keeps going <laughs> back here to this system right here and uh, comes up the back and then I have the sealed system here too um, gotta remember it's Arizona and we use tie straps to hold these in and over time the, the sunshine destroys plastic so 
this is what it looks like for this planter box <laughs> and it works pretty well but when you get seedlings a lot of times you want to do hand uh, watering and of course I have a sealed system on this thing actually is not just sealed in this area it seals all the way around so it gives me a complete sealed system that keeps everything pressurized and uh, you can't see in the tomatoes but it looks just like that so those have worked they're not pretty they're not perfect uh, sometimes you gotta run garden hoses across your property but you probably notice with most gardeners they got hoses all over their yards but let's talk about the next system all right so the last system I'm gonna show you is something I've never done before is using soaker hoses I didn't even know they had them um, in the little quarter inch uh, pipe and once again it starts here and I haven't put a timer on it yet that's on order and it's a hose that goes behind our sauna yes I have a sauna came with a house Arizona is a sauna why I have a, a, a sauna doesn't make sense in Arizona and forgive me our air conditioners on because it's a hundred degrees anyway you can see here I ran that hose to this side of the house brought it around here to this system right here and you say what's the tea feeding for <laughs> future boxes uh, I'm actually going to add another tea fitting right here to run more water to the corner but what I did different on this is I used soaker hoses so if you take a look you see our water system comes up here and I'm running soaker hoses across here and very very simple system never used this before I didn't even know they made these I know some people have been gardening going, you idiot, Rob. Hey, you got to learn. Anyway, these soaker hoses connect right here. There is a hole every six inches. And you just take them down to the end. And you get these little hooks like this. Help hold them down. And you can control your water really well. Especially since I have a lot of seedlings in here. And uh, at the end, you just put caps on them and put them into the ground about a half foot. And uh, I'm set to go. Very simple system. Let me give you a look from this side. You can see right here, you notice there, every time you do a video, an airplane's got to go over. And so in the future, I'll probably put more planter boxes down there. Um, I'm going to put flowers here, right there. And along here, uh, this fall, we're going to do potato bags, or 10-gallon potatoes. And um, I can't put boxes here because we have monsoons here. And we got to make sure there's drainage. So uh, anyways, but there'll be a whole bunch of bags here with uh, tomato plants and pot potatoes. And we're looking forward to that. So I hope this inspires you once again. You don't have to be perfect. I know I've got a strange system, but it works, and that's all that matters. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it'll be interesting to see this box. This thing will be just devastated with leaves here pretty soon because it's all a uh, summer plant. And uh, I believe we have cucumbers, watermelon, and cantaloupe in here, and never grown any of them before so uh, it'll be fun and we'll see how good they do in the summer it gets really hot here so I'm hoping our soaker system does a good job for us and I hope uh, this doesn't get 100% sun it's more like 80% sun here because of the wall and the sun comes this way so I hope that was helpful please take the time to like and subscribe and uh, have a great day everybody bye oh by the way grow some stuff would you it's fun it's good for you and I mean, you'll learn a lot anyway talk to you later bye thank you very much for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos 
all over the whole wide world. Thanks. <laughs>